welcome back friends today video will going to talk about if statement which is a decision making decision making okay what is decision making according to particular condition i want execute but some block of code based on my condition based on some condition which i am passing to the program based on that condition i want to execute some block of code in such a case we need to use if statement which is called as a decision making it has many types if condition if that condition matches this will return true or false okay once that condition execute i want to execute certain piece of code right that piece of code we need to write inside the particular block we have to open the braces close the braces inside this block we need to write a program if this return false this condition return false nothing will happen if this condition return true it will go to inside whatever program written here that program will execute if this condition false nothing will happen because i have not done anything right um if it is true one day i want to execute if it is false there is no code there is no block of code here if you want to write that block of code you have to go with else else open the braces close the braces and write the program block of code now if you want to uh, check uh, multiple condition many conditions so here only uh, we are checking only one condition if the condition satisfied that is this particular condition return true i want to execute this block of code if this condition not returning true that is if the condition return false i want to come to else block i want to execute this piece of code now i want to check the more than one condition adike for that we need to use if condition again i want to check some other condition else if condition again i want to check some other condition else if condition finally i don't want to do anything just else here checking condition 1 if the condition satisfied come here execute execute some code if the if this condition not satisfied come here and check this condition if this condition satisfied execute this code if this condition not satisfied come to here and check here check the condition if the condition satisfied execute sorry this code if this condition also not not satisfied come to else block execute this that's it so we can keep on check using else if else if else if finally we can put else so this is the use of uh, if statement okay which is a decision making now we'll going to see the example now okay public class i am saying if class public static void main string args here i am declaring an integer variable int a equal to 10 if a equal to 10 if a equal to 10 i want to print this value this value is 10 value i want to print this uh, message if a is not a 10 else Value is not a ten. That's it. The simple if condition example here. 
let me save this what is our class name if class right if class dot java okay i want to go to here i let me open a command prompt now i want to compile this java c if class it's compiled java if class value is 10 because my variable having a value 10 and here i am checking if a equal to equal to 10 if a having a value 10 i want to print this value value is 10 exactly it's printing so a is not a 10 so this block never get executed let me change a value to 11 what will happen now a is having 11 now so this condition never satisfied this condition never satisfied because a is having a 11 this will return true this will, sorry, this will return false so this block never get executed so it will come to else block this will print let me compile and execute again so value is not a 10 else block is executed ok now I want to uh, do multiple conditions ok how to do that mm. if a equal to 10 I want to print this else if a equal to 20 so okay now let me 90 90 I want to print this value A is 19 again one more else if else if A equal to 100 I want to print this 100 so if it is a is 8 this will this block will get print else if a is 19 this block will get print if a is 100 this block will get print if nothing is match come to else block this block will print now i'll go to change here invalid value something invalid value okay let me compile execute so invalid value because as of now a is 11 but i am checking with 10 19 100 N none of the condition is not matching here so it come to else blocks printing here correct let me change to a value to 100 now let me compile value is 100 this block is get executed okay now I want to pass dynamic value here. Here I am hard coding, right? I am assigning in program itself, I am assigning a equal to 100, a equal to 10, like that I am assigning right, direct, directly in the program. That is not good. Okay, I wanted to pass the value dynamically at the time of executing the program. At the time of executing the program. Let's see how to do that. That that will go to see next class okay before doing that we you need to understand how to work with command line argument how to work with command line argument once you're familiar with command line argument whenever you execute a program we can pass some value at runtime we can assign some value to the variables okay that part we'll go to see in next class until then bye bye from Suresh thanks for watching this full video if you like this video please share it to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates still you are not subscribed this channel please subscribe it thanks again